assalamu alaikum let us continue with the same topic that is the variation of the dielectric strength from the surface of the conductor to the sheet in case of an electric cable we come to conclusion that this g is equal to v divided by r ln of capital r divided by small r so this is the maximum value and minimum value is v divided by capital r uh, ln of r by r and this is the variation of this electrical stress from the surface of the conductor to the to the sheet actually it is the variation of this stress along the dielectric so like we have you might have seen that electric stress or we can see a potential distribution along the insulator string from the conductor to the tower likewise we will see here the potential distribution in the uh, dielectric from the surface of the conductor to the uh, inner radius of the sheath so here also we get this g max by g min is equal to r by r so the ratio of this capital r or small r gives us the ratio of the maximum electrical stress to the minimum electrical stress now here minimum stress this minimum electrical stress that is good but we want somehow that this maximum electric stress should be minimized so that this point will come slightly lower point this come this point will come close to this minimum value to this minimum value so that it flattens the curve overall we want that this potential distribution remain the same throughout the dielectric so that the problem of uneven distribution will be eliminated we'll see the first method now here we'll see the condition for minimizing the maximum dielectric strength consider this equation this is g max is equal to g divided by small r ln of r by r so in this case So in this case, we will vary this r and see where what is the value of this r so that this maximum electric stress will be minimized. So for that, since this is actually v, this should be v. So this is a constant, this is the operating voltage. Now since we change this, this parameter will also change. So by changing this numerator whole quantity will change so to find out the minimum value we differentiate this g max so to make it a little bit easier we'll differentiate directly the numerator when we differentiate it we get and equate it to zero for minimum g max you will see that r into r small r into r divided by capital r into this minus times r by r square plus ln of r by r this r and r will cancel out this r square r square will cancel it will be equal to 1 that means ln of r capital r by r will be equal to 1 so here i will repeat here this r this is a uv rule first we will keep this r as it is and then differentiate this ln of r by r its differentiation will be the reciprocal of it is variable that's r by r it is uh, reciprocal will be small r by capital r and the differentiation of this quantity with respect to r will be minus r by r square since this this capital r is constant and the differentiation of 1 by r is minus 1 by r square that will be like this so finally we get this value and it means this capital r by small r will be equal to e will be equal to e which is equal to is equal to 2.71 approximately equal to. so what i mean to say is that <clears throat> the value of small r should be equal to r should be equal to 1 divided by 2.71 into r that is around 0 0.367 r or we can say 
R should be equal to 36.7% of the R. From this we can find out the thickness of the dialect. The thickness of the dialect will be thickness of the dialect that is usually equal to R minus R. So since this R is equal to this will be equal to R minus 0 0.367 R which is equal to so this is 3 3 0 0.633 R this will be the thickness of the dialectic no I will discuss a bit about the stability of the <coughs> stability of the dialectic. Now this is the curve of this G max with respect to R by R. So this is the minimum point and this minimum point occurs at when R by R is equal to 0 0.36 it is actually this R by R is equal to 1 by E. So, in this case, I have divided it into two, uh, two parts. One is the unstable part, another is the stable part. Why is unstable and stable? I will explain. Let us say our dialect works at this operating point P. And by somehow, and this is this is our conductor and this is this dialectic. This is the radius R and this is the capital uh, radius of the uh, dialect plus conductor is the capital R. <clears throat> let's say by somehow there is an air bubble or some air ring gets introduced around the surface of the conductor since the dielectric strength of air is very small or very less as compared to the dielectric strength of this insulation it will break down it will break down or we can say <coughs> it will become conducting so when it becomes conducting we can see that this is a part of conductor this is a part of conductor there is no potential difference from this point to this point or we can say this r small r has increased to this r plus a where a is the thickness of this air bubble or we can say thickness of this <coughs> where air gets introduced when r increases that means r by r has increases this point will shift from this point to P dash this point to P dash and that is good because in this case you will see that G max had decreased from this point to this value so it will be blessing in this case for the conductor for the dielectric it will not break down but if it is in this area you will see that it is at point Q it is operating at point Q now same thing happens you will see that R will increase and now this point will or the operating point of the dielectric will shift from Q to Q dash where this G has increased when G has increased it results in the further breakdown of the dielectric and hence it may it may be it may get damaged so the stable operation of the cable will be from this point to this point that is why I have written here over here this is the stable region and this is the unstable region now with this <coughs> now this will come to grading of cables what this what does this mean the grading of cables in this case in this case we want that the potential distribution along the dielectric should be seen so we devise some uh, technique so that the potential distribution if it's not same it remains certain in certain limit it does not go beyond certain limit so that the dialect may get damaged so the different methods are known as the grading of cables dielect strength decreases from conductor surface to the sheath resulting resulting in non-uniform distribution of potential grading as this we have seen already from the equation as well as from the graph 
it is advantageous to have a uniform distribution as this will minimize the quantity of insulation needed for the given radius and cable voltage as i have told you that since the potential distribution is not same in the dielectric if it would if would if it would have been same the operating voltage normal operating voltage or dielectric strength material that is used in the insulation would be would be required less since it is not same in a normal dielectric so it means the dielectric material that is used in this case will be more that's why it it is saying that the quantity of insulation will be required more the technique of making the uniform dielectric stiff is called grading of cables so grading of cable is nothing but making the dielectric strength uniform along the dielectric it means distribution it means the distribution of dielectric material such that the difference between the maximum gradient and the minimum gradient is reduced thereby a cable of same size could be operated at higher voltage or for same operating voltage a cable of relatively smaller size could be used as i told you earlier that i want to minimize the difference between these two the difference between these two or to or to bring it down close to g minimum and by doing so what will happen by doing so what will happen what will happen uh, the same size uh, cable could be operated at the higher voltage if we are able to do it if we are able to decrease the maximum value of the electric stress or we can say the g max is uh, may close to g minimum in that case the same cable can be used for the higher operating voltage or we can say <coughs> for a same operating voltage we can use a cable of lower size cable of lower size or smaller size for the same purpose in that case we are actually reducing the cost of the cable 